Hello YouTube, this is Mike here, Desiris Prime, with my, um, well it's part one of my state of everything update, because I'll, I'll start from the beginning. Recently I've been dealing with kind of an internal crisis, um, wondering whether any of this was worth it, because I was basically becoming overloaded with ideas, and there was just shit rattling around in my brain all the time, and... It's, um, I have this weird concern about the DCUO servers. That's my main issue with, in terms of the DCUO stuff that I do. Um, how long is the game going to stay up for? Will I get all these ideas out? And I found myself pushing and pushing and pressurizing myself. And I was putting myself under a stupid amount of pressure to get shit done. Um unnecessary pressure really I'd add because <clears throat> you know it's not like I need to be doing this but it's it's a hobby and it started to become more than a hobby it started to become a bit of a chore welcome welcome one and all like, to sure. Joker's room on, of fun sorry. mayhem and prizes what will it be Game something boy. to flatten your opponents uh, just some... Shut up. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I didn't turn down all my volume settings. Uh, yeah, I was putting myself under pressure. It was starting to feel more like a chore because I had so much stuff still to get out. I mean, just because I'm approaching the season finale of Dark Savior and Cougar Man doesn't mean that my work's done or near done. I've still got them finales to put out and they're both going to be big episodes in and of themselves. Steel Saviors ready to go but I can't launch that yet. Uh, still got Street Saviors to finish and Taylor and Taylor parts two and three which is part two is halfway through production. Um, but it just the getting that stuff out before the end of the year would have probably been no issue but the main problem was <clears throat> next year and I've got the same or more videos I had the same or more videos planned for next year it, it wasn't like my workload decreased I had another still savior another Green Lantern Deseret story um, stuff like that, other stories that um, <clears throat> affected other characters. I got that. And it was just, I wanted to, I just felt under too much pressure to get all that done. And it really was just weighing me down too much. So I decided to take a break and assess the situation, talk to a few people <clears throat> and see where I go from there. And what a fuck, wrong place. Damn it. Had a good watchtower. Um, <clears throat> what I've come up with basically is after discussing things with people is to just in a way rebrand it, but in a way, it's, it's still the same. It's not like I'm rebooting or relaunching or anything like that. Sorry. But I am, you know, restructuring the way things work. And part of that is going to be the removal of the seasonal format, the episodic format. Now, I'm in a fortunate position because season four was originally just a bunch of standalone episodes so I can carry on with that but the thing is each one will now act as their own sort of individual movie so to speak they'll all still be linear they'll all still come out in the same order but they um, and they do have an underlying thread and they do have a progression to them but they don't all they're not all crucial to each other like this season was. <clears throat> Pretty much everything is like 
done and dusted within each episode. And that allows me to not have to worry about making it a seasonal thing. I have a Dash Tracker solo plan that have two Des Girl themed stories. Three, they count the team up that I wanted to do. And a bunch of other stuff that I was going to throw in. Um, I've changed some of that. There was going to be some flashbacks. I'm going to make them their own little individual episodes when the time is right. Basically, the, the main thing about the Dark Savior stuff is, and it affects Kugerman as well, uh, is that not everything has to go out next year. That's the key thing with this new restructuring. If I don't commit to a five episodes a year, a season, if I don't commit to a season, I can do them at my own leisure. And that will be better for everybody because it'll be better for me because I'm, I won't be as stressed or under as much pressure. It'll be better for the audience because they might get a, better, a more polished product. And it'll be, um, I just feel it'll be better for everybody if I do it that way. And yes, we have cats now. That's Kit Kat and Sapphire. Don't know which one's which. They fight each other sometimes and they're pretty cool. I don't want two, I'm not a crazy cat person. My son had had two cats, one of them died, she was hit by a car, but they were called, they're called Kit Kat and the one that passed away is called Sapphire. It's probably Sapphire, they both just attacked me, so yeah. So we just nicknamed them Kit Kat and Sapphire. It's not Teekle and Teekle. But yeah, so basically next season, next year, it's not like I'll drop something in January. I'm going to take my time with this. I'm going to take all the time I need because that's the key thing. It needs to be fun for me. But the episodes I had planned next year, not all of them might go out. I might get two or three done along with a few other things and then the rest will follow into the next year. But it's going to be, I feel it's going to be better for everybody. Um, Cougarman won't be seasonal either. They'll just be done when they're done. But I had more stories planned for Cougar Man. Um, there are the certain stories I had um, etched in stone for next year. Were I think I managed to reduce them from five to three. Um, I've also managed. I'm also working on shortening down Taylor and Taylor as well, because this year's three part. I'm still going to finish that. Might not be this year, but that will definitely be the last thing I do. That'll definitely be something I do next year if I don't get it done this year, because people want that. Um, I just feel like branding it differently, uh, structuring it differently, is going to be beneficial to everybody in the long run. I've got to stop worrying about the servers, how long they're going to go up. The main thing, and this is what Mike, who voices Dunshock, said to me, it's better to have an unfinished product that I've, I'm proud of and that I've enjoyed working on than to have a rushed out, product that is full of errors and tension and shit like that that I don't need. <clears throat> There's also going to be a slight rebranding of the names because it won't be Dark Saviour anymore. Steel Saviour stays the same but <clears throat> a couple of examples. The first and third episodes of what would have been season th four, they are called Riddle Me This and Worst Case Scenario respectively are more team efforts. They are more Justice Realm efforts because it, it does feature, the third one especially, it features more from the other players as well. It's not Desirax wrapping everybody in cotton wool and being the overprotective big brother that he has been lately. Everybody gets, jumps in with their weapons and they're all fighting and they're all in combat and they're all doing the superhero stuff on an equal footing. Those episodes will be rebranded as Justice Realm episodes. Now, there's um, what would have been episode two, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Basically, in that one, Desirax has the day off. It doesn't be Desirax at all. So it wouldn't be right to, re to brand that as a Dark Saviour episode when there's no Dark Saviour except the Michael side. So that will be relabeled as a Des Girl Flow Girl story. There's also the other team-ups that I've got. I've got a Des Girl Desirax team-up. They're just going to finally wrap up the whole Queen Bee thing. Uh, there's one introducing Altari, um, my 
second lieutenant on the justice realm there's um one that introduces a new character which um has an incident involving it involves Deserax as well that will be um a Deserax and distortionist episode and i just feel that overall that will be a lot better because the ones where Cougarman crosses over as well or where Deserats crosses over into Cougarman, it helps with naming those as well and yeah it is next year is less dark savior because it is not as much about Deserax. um i'm starting to feature the other team members more because i do like having the team and i just feel that on the whole this will be a better idea i will go into detail about the episodes that i have planned i'll give you a list of them again not all of them chances are will be uploaded next year but i'll give you a schedule not a time schedule but a slate a release slate i think is what they call it i'll give you one of those um in the near future maybe after season three is done and dusted and then so you know pretty much what to expect and they will be in order so you'll know which episodes will be coming next and another cool thing as well just before i sign off is that one thing that i've had to do with dark savior and cougar man this year and it's not a bad thing but they did kind of rely on one another <clears throat> if you look at it so far you've got desert dark savior um another way where well, we reintroduce Deserax um, fully and then Cougar Man shows a cameo from Deserax who still hasn't gone home season episode 2 Deserax goes home gets shot by Stunshock episode 2 of Cougar Man you, you finally reveal that Dash Tracker is Agent Thomas Agent Thomas goes out helps Deserax in episode 3 and then there's the crossover because I need help from Cougar Man and he goes and works with Cougar Man they deal with the help with the hashtag situation and main and the whole mind transference thing and then episodes the fourth episodes of each season Cougar Man rescues bollocks in episode four of Dark Savior and then we open episode four of Cougar Man with Cougar Man and bollocks talking <clears throat> there was that kind of thing where the episodes relied on each other in order to progress there won't be any of that next year because they're all standalones and that will make for a much tighter story it doesn't mean that i'll do a what would have been dark savior episode and then go straight into a cougar man episode i might do a couple of deserax dark savior side episodes like from that particular series as it was and then go into a cougar man one i might put a couple of cougar mans out in sequence i don't know that's the thing about it there's a new level of unpredictability and fun here and i can just pick and choose to a degree what i'm putting out next and luckily steel savior 3 doesn't revolve around anything in dark savior because that relies on dark savior a bit as well the last couple of years like stun shock last year with the first one steel savior 2 relies on something it's that won't happen next year either so they don't have to go out i can put them out when i want and I guess the point is now that I do want to do it again and I am looking forward to this I'm excited about this this new way to approach these series that I've put so much work into and I'm not going to get into all the brouhaha about the view counts or anything like that because in short I looked at them because I'm not a like I'm not one of those that's like like comment subscribe but it did get to a point where I had to look at the views to justify what was going on and whether it was worth doing and to me it still is because people still like this people still want this they want rcw they want transformers of soap they want desirax they want cougar man it's still worth doing while people want it even if it's only a handful of people i do that for you guys and on that note i think i'm going to sign off i may have rambled but i think i've got my points across clearly um if you go to my facebook page facebook.com slash prime then there is a more clearer written out version of what i've just said that's probably a bit more coherent that's the only wet plug i'm gonna do i've been desirous prime i'll be back soon you shall see me next time